are the leaders in global breaking news. You're live with Lucy Hawkins on BBC World News. Anger in the Kremlin over Joe Biden's warning on Ukraine. Moscow denouncing what it calls his destabilizing remarks after President Biden says Russia faces disaster if it invades Ukraine. Our allies and partners are ready to impose severe cost and significant harm on Russia and the Russian economy. The International Committee of the Red Cross says the details of more than half a million vulnerable people have been stolen in a massive cyber attack on its data. The first plane load of aid lands in Tonga on a runway cleared of ash following Saturday's volcanic eruption and tsunami. Good news from South Africa, where the Omicron variant was first detected. Scientists there are confident it's on the way out. And untouched by climate change, a rare, pristine coral reef is discovered off the coast of Tahiti. In the next half hour, we'll be live in Moscow and Abuja and hear from our correspondents in Geneva and Washington. The Kremlin has denounced what it has called destabilizing remarks on Ukraine by the US president. Mr. Biden saying in a news conference that he thought Russia would invade Ukraine. His Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, currently meeting his European counterparts in Berlin. He's on a diplomatic tour aimed at easing tensions. His boss, though, has issued a series of stark warnings to Moscow. Joe Biden saying Russia would pay dearly if it attacked Ukraine and Vladimir Putin would come to regret it. But he also indicated a minor incursion might be treated differently. Before we go, we have a really great piece of environmental news, and it doesn't happen very often, but we had to share these incredible pictures uh, that we have of a magical, that was the word, giant a coral reef diver. discovered off the coast of Tahiti, that's in French Polynesia. This is a reef that's over three kilometres long. It was found at a depth of more than 30 metres. That's really deep for a tropical reef and possibly is what's protected it from uh, climate change so far. As you can see, rose-shaped coral some of which are two metres wide. So a previously giant reef discovered in Tahiti. And we leave you with those pictures, but I will see you for the headlines in a few minutes. This is BBC World News, the latest headlines. There's been anger in the Kremlin over President Biden's warning on Ukraine. Earlier he said Russia faces disaster if it invades Ukraine, Moscow calling his remarks destabilizing. Britain's Prime Minister Boris Johnson has insisted he will fight any challenge to his leadership of the Conservative Party. He's been under mounting pressure over a series of parties in the Prime Minister's residence during lockdowns. The first plane loads of aid have landed in Tonga following Saturday's volcanic eruption and tsunami. They touched down at the Pacific Nation's main airport, which had to be cleared of volcanic ash to make it safe. And a previously unknown giant coral reef has been discovered off the coast of Tahiti. It was found at a depth of more than 30 metres, unusually deep for a tropical reef. And those are your headlines.
You're live with Lucy Hawkins on BBC World News. Anger in the Kremlin over President Biden's warning on Ukraine. Moscow denouncing what it calls destabilizing remarks after the president says Russia faces disaster if it invades Ukraine. Our allies and partners are ready to impose severe cost and significant harm on Russia and the Russian economy. The details of more than half a million vulnerable people have been stolen in a massive cyber attack on the International Committee of the Red Cross. Thousands offered to adopt a hamster in Hong Kong after a cull is ordered over fears that they can spread COVID. Good news from South Africa, where the Omicron variant was first detected. Scientists there are confident it's on the way out. It was more infectious, but less severe. And that is exactly what a virus wants to do. And the programme will be live in Berlin, New Jersey and South Africa and hear from our correspondents in Moscow and Abuja. The Kremlin has denounced what it has called destabilizing remarks on Ukraine by the U.S. president. Mr. Biden saying at a news conference he thought Russia would invade Ukraine. His Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, is currently meeting his European counterparts in a tour of Berlin. It's all aimed at uh, easing tensions, but his boss has issued a series of stark warnings to Moscow. Joe Biden saying Russia would pay dearly if it attacked Ukraine and Vladimir Putin would come to regret it. But he also indicated a minor incursion might be treated differently. From those uh, incredible images there near Tahiti to Belgium, we have a slightly shaky live picture for you, uh, but it is a remarkable moment for a young teenage pilot who has become the youngest woman to fly solo around the world. Let's see her landing. 19-year-old Zara Rutherford has landed at one of Belgium's airport, finishing her journey, which began in August last year. She has visited nearly 50 countries during her trip in an ultra-light plane. Congratulations to Zara. You're live with Lucy Hawkins on BBC World News. Anger in the Kremlin over President Biden's warning on Ukraine. Moscow denouncing what it calls his destabilizing remarks after the president said Russia faces disaster if it invades. Our allies and partners are ready to impose severe cost and significant harm on Russia and the Russian economy. Good news from South Africa, where the Omicron variant was first detected. Scientists there are confident it's on the way out. It was more infectious, but less severe. And that is exactly what a virus wants to do. And are Apple AirTags being misused to track people's movements without their knowledge? We hear the concerns of several women who say they did not consent to their use. It's exactly a year since Joe Biden replaced Donald Trump as president of the United States. He entered office with lofty ambitions to not only guide America out of the pandemic, but transform its social welfare system and heal deep partisan divisions. But polls show he's become one of the most unpopular presidents since records began. Biden entering office with an approval rating of 57% back in January 2021. But in his first year, he has added a startling slide in fortunes. With a widely criticized withdrawal of US troops from Afghanistan and as the Delta variant advanced, by August, his approval ratings had fallen to 49%. And they have been declining to the point now that only 40% of Americans approve of the way the president is doing his job. That's according to Gallup. Let's put the figures in context for you, though, and compare the average approval ratings for the first year of the most recent American presidents. And as you can see, Biden has ranked lower than most of his predecessors. He has similar ratings than Bill Clinton. He is way behind, though, uh, George Bush Jr. or Barack Obama. Only former President Trump had a lower rating than Biden during his first year in office. Let's go live to New Jersey. We can join Lauren Wright, politics lecturer at Princeton University. Lovely to see you. What's gone so wrong for President Biden this year? A small piece of breaking news from the Vatican in the last few minutes. They have expressed their shame 
and remorse over abuse after a German report. The investigation finding that the former Pope Benedict XVI failed to act over four cases of child sex abuse when he was the Archbishop of Munich. Pope Benedict, who was then called Joseph Ratzinger, held the position from 1977 to 1982. The lawyers who wrote the report say during this time a priest who was known to have abused boys many times was transferred to the diocese and allowed to work in pastoral care. They say they're convinced Pope Benedict was aware of the man's background. More on this story throughout the day.